Welcome everybody, this is Boobanato. What? Returning to some world to conquer for the Rowan Dam 1943 Germany. And look what we've got. We still got our man Stein. We still got Guderian. And in Africa, we still got Rommel up and going. And let's not forget, Rommel has seen some shit. He watched his whole battlefront collapse down to one city in Africa before he came back. And I believe we got control of like half of Africa. Maybe. But the good half, like the northern half, not the sh not the crap southern half with all the shit cities. Anyways, what was due next up was uh, Hearts of Iron mod, East Germany, but I thought I better get up a World Conqueror 4 for you guys before you lynched me. So, here we go. Oh, I made a huge step today in the progression in this game. I finally unlocked level 30. So now, I can build the super heavies. The aircraft carriers, the uh, tanks, the artilleries. Which will finally allow me to take on the 40% off general missions. I don't think I don't think it would be possible for me to do it without the the super heavies. Um, it might you might be able to get it done with just regular heavies if your tech level was all the way upgraded, which mine is not. So with my tech level, with just regular heavy class stuff, I could I couldn't have got it done. I don't think. Although I didn't try it too many times. I, try, I tried it like once and I was just like, you know what? I'm definitely going to need the uh, the super tanks and super artillery. Because this just ain't happening. And I'm wasting a shitload of money with all my troops dying. Also, I might add, I completed a 1950s mission. I played through with the USA. Uh, it wasn't too bad, actually. The landing in Africa was a... Uh, uh, not Africa. The landing in the European theater was a pain in the ass. I landed up a, up there near, like, Brussels. So in 1950, Germany is neutral, so it gave me a good spot to get all my troops landed without getting my ass kicked right away. But yeah, by the time I got there, they already had a pretty large force up against me. I spammed super heavies till I finally broke their lines down a little bit, then started spamming uh, artillery. The Asian front went easy. It was it was simple. I just camped out in Japan. Let Russia and China take some cities, take them right back, and I got my base. But I need to throw down another 1950 because I need the resources to build all my my super heavy artillery and tanks and aircraft carriers. And I will be posting the 40% the off ones when I do them. I didn't post the 10 and 20 because I figured, you know, you guys can figure that out. That's, that's, those are pretty easy. But the 40% offs become a major problem. Seems like there was something else. Oh, this Friday, the World War II Call of Duty comes out, which I will be purchasing. So expect some gameplay of that. I don't know if I'll do the damn midnight release shit. I might. <laughs> I would hate myself if I did. The last time I did a midnight release of anything, it was um, for the PS4. I sat in Walmart for eight hours waiting to get a PS4, which in hindsight was good because obviously it turned out you couldn't get them anywhere for 
a long ass time. And uh, as far as a game that I camped out for, I'm thinking it was, well, I didn't camp out for it, I should say. I mean, I camped out for the PS4, obviously. It was more than eight hours. I think it was like 10 hours. And when I got there, there was already five people in line. So yeah, if I got there a little bit later, I'd have been screwed because they didn't have many PS4s. But the last game I went to the midnight release of was, um, it would have had to have been World of Warcraft Lich King. And that was a Walmart thing too. And there was people waiting in line and I just felt like a complete loser. Damn, I can't reach that. So, um, yeah, I, I have not even, I have not even pre-ordered it yet. I don't even know if I still can. I know last time a Call of Duty came out, I pre-ordered it like a week out. I don't know being so close. I, I'm assuming that GameStop probably has regular copies that are not reserved, that they will switch to reserved um, if somebody else pre-orders. So after I do this video, I'm going to go to GameStop and see if I can't grab a copy of that on reserve. Damn, our Rommel's getting pretty low though, isn't he? It's like I didn't reserve Wolfenstein and um, I went to Wall. I didn't even think about it. I don't know. It's been so long since I ordered a, a big name game like that. I didn't even think of it being sold out. So I just strolled into our local Walmart like, you know, I had a huge pair of nuts and I was going to buy Wolfenstein and I got there and they didn't have any. So I called the next closest Walmart, which was a 40 minute drive away. And tried to get in contact. And this is at 2 a.m. Or 1 a.m. And I tried to talk to the electronics department. And of course, it being Walmart. The guy answers, I don't even work in this department. I'm just covering for another guy till he gets back at 2.15. Well, shit, I could wait till that guy gets back at 2.15. Or I could be there and possibly already have my game and heading back home. So I chose to just go without talking to the guy. In retrospect, I should have waited to talk to the guy because when I got there, they were sold out as well. So what I did was I went to Target at 8 a.m. Walked right in there and got it. There was nobody in line. I figured there'd be at least a few people in line waiting to get it. There was one person that uh, walked into the building before me, but they weren't like waiting outside. They bought all three of the games that were released. The Mario game, the Wolfenstein, and what else? Assassin's Creed. I was just like, Mario, come on, bro. Isn't it, does Nintendo even still exist? Yeah, so I, I went through some, some things for old Wolfenstein. But if you haven't seen my gameplay on it, I mean, I don't, you know... I'm not hurt by the fact that you haven't, but I'm just going to tell you that it's a really badass game and you should be playing it. And look, this worked perfectly. I was able to strand all their generals out at sea and just wreck them with subs. If I hadn't have, they would definitely be on the shores of Spain taking over Barcelona by now, or B Madrid. Still working London down with some artillery. You know, we're going to be... Oh, you know what? I just realized... I could be using missiles. I completely forgot 
about Berlin having missiles early on. What a complete idiot I am. I think we can wipe the UK out right here, actually. Shouldn't, yeah, it shouldn't be a problem at all. In fact, I can wipe a lot of shit out. I got a lot of tech and a lot of energy. Or, I guess it's industrial and technology. Yeah. Couldn't take out these last three cities here. I can't believe I forgot about that. I mean, it was okay, I guess. Taking London down a lot with regular artillery. I mean, it was a good play. It, it saves me up industrial and technology to use in Asia or wherever I want to use it. Because, look, I'm going to have like 30 missiles left as soon as I'm able to build that type of shit. Boom! Just like that. So, 1950. Um, like I said, I, I need to play through it again. Um, I don't know. Well, I wanted to start off with a big country. As you've noticed, that is kind of a um, a theme. When I unlock a, a new year, I start off with a three-star country. Just to get the hang of it. Just to see if my my tech level is is on the level. It's it's like right there. It was it was close. The landing in Europe. At one point, I thought I might be beaten back off the continent. It was kind of iffy at first. You know, I had forgot how how much tech level matters. It had been, it had been. I had had my most of my artillery and tank and air and even naval technology maxed when I started uploading World Conqueror three videos. So I'd completely forgot like how much of a game changer the technology is. Rommel, you're you're going to get to see Africa get conquered. Get wrecked. Canada, I don't know what you thought you were going to going to do, but um you ain't going to get it done. Well, now that I got the UK knocked out and I'm about to clear out the Pacific, I guess I can start sending my uh, US invasion force. I mean, I know, I realize it's easier to come at it from the West Coast. I get it. I thought I just killed, I thought I killed him a while ago. I could have sworn I killed him off in the Atlantic. And there he is again. I, I'll have to look. I'll have to look back at the video on that one. I could have sworn I killed him off. Um, what was I saying? Oh yeah, I, I realize it's easier to invade from the West, but I like to, I like to pinch the U.S. from both sides. It kind of gives me that, that old school world... Conqueror 3 fill where you just built a shitload of super heavies and artillery and sent them across the Atlantic. Kind of brings back those warm fuzzy memories to me doing that. 
And you know what? If my phone had not broken, I would every so often throw up like a, a full episode of a conquest or something with World Conqueror 3. I'd even be throwing up European War 5, even though I, I realize a lot of people thought it was shit. It was obviously shit compared to World uh, to European War 4. But I still enjoyed the game. It was, it was still enjoyable to me. Upgrading the generals and shit. I'm still looking. I am still looking for cheap parts. I'm even looking for cheap phones that I could take the parts off of. On my, on like local buy sell trade sites. The problem with it is that I need one specifically for Cellular One. And all there seems to be is ones for Verizon and shit like that. Otherwise I'd have it by now because I've seen some some crap Verizon S5s on our buy sell trade site for like 40 bones. Anyways, bros, I think I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to wrap this video up. If you're enjoying this content, you know what to do. Slap the shit out of like and subscribe and I'll see you back here for our next upload. Peace. Ruminati out. Ooh.